Hey everybody, my name is Steve Houston. Welcome back to my channel. It is Saturday. It is, what is it? February 10th, 2021. Wow, day's flying. Wanted to just uh, sit in my office doing some work today and figured I'd uh, reach out to all of you and send out another video. So, you know, one of the things I've been talking a lot about this week with my team and, and people that I've been interviewing that have called me, Bo from uh, uh, YouTube and you know ZipRecruiter and, and Indeed and you know all kinds. Of, there's a lot of activity in this business. There's a lot of people that are researching uh, this business. A lot of um, inquiring minds. And so you know this business is about consistency. It's all about you know showing up for work every day. And one of the challenges with being a business for ourselves is is that we have to. Uh, many times self-motivate ourselves and that can be difficult from some for some people that are used to going to a job and having that that uh, that structure so I thought it'd be a good uh, good subject to talk about today in terms of you know what this is business is all about and how that really kind of works with leads and and uh, you know just kind of break it down it, the, look this business is all about lead flow and activity I don't care if you're doing virtual if you're doing face-to-face -face or whatever it is it comes down to lead flow and activity it's it's more about the activity than it is about your presentation. And you know, I said on one of my team calls last week that your activity is going to outrank any good presentation. It's so true. You know, the number of appointments set absolutely determines your APV or your premium written. It's again, it's not the quality of your presentation. Here's another thing I think is a big misconception because I get this a lot, a lot of times on the phone when I'm interviewing people. There's this real resistance to buy leads. And I know, you know, there are a lot of IMOs out there. And I talk about this all the time. It's more about who you sign up with rather than the IMO you sign up with. I mean, the IMO is important. Don't get me wrong. And the IMO needs to own their own lead program, not give you a list of uh, third-party lead vendors that you can go out there and slug it out and find the you know, best lead, the best price, and negotiate and all that, and trial and error, and you know, try this lead, try that lead, and try this company, try that company, and you're spending a ton of money in research, and none of those companies have any financial interest. Boy, I think this is really key. None of those companies have any financial interest in your success. They're just selling you meat patties, right? They're selling you leads. That's it. Over and over again, all day long, they're selling you leads. You are nothing more than a customer. Honestly, at the end of the day, they don't give a crap if you succeed or not. They're in the lead selling business, right? And that's why I cringe and I, I laugh a lot when I hear these, these certain spokespeople for these IMOs talk about how, you know, we don't get in your pocket and we're leads. We don't sell our, our, uh, our agents any leads. Where you take the high road? Well, that's not the high road. The high road is spending millions of dollars and in investing in a lead program for your agents, co-oping those leads so that you know we're in the bucket as much as you are in uh, on that lead. And we have a financial interest in your success, right? I mean, that keeps us both honest, right? You, you buy in the leads. You assume that they're good quality leads. We want them to be good quality leads because we want you to convert them into selling some premium selling some insurance. We're not in the business of selling leads. I think that's a huge thing. I, I've said it a lot uh, over and over again in my videos that people kind of misunderstand. So uh, it's important that you're with a company that can provide you. And it's great to have other options. Look, we're in the insurance selling business. We don't sell anything else here to our agents other than leads. That's it. We don't charge for technology, training, support, none of that stuff. That's taught a lot about on certain presentations for IMOs that they don't uh, they don't charge. We don't charge for anything either. We don't charge. We we've got you know several million dollars invested in our back office CRM technology that you are allowed to run your business on. Those are the things I look for in an IMO. I share what we have so you can compare to who you're talking to and what they have and what they charge for. I hear a lot about people charging for training. That's not the subject of this video, but I think it's a crime. Okay, um, so that's just my opinion. They should train you. They have obligations to support you and provide you the tools that you need to run your business because they're overriding. They're making money on your on your sales. That's the basic exchange between you and the IMO, or you know, is that they oh, and you and the agency is that they is that they're there for you. You can call them and they they'll help you succeed in this business. If they're not doing that and they're just simply signing you up, then it's a crime. There's no challenge of working older leads either. Uh, this is a misconception I get a lot of people I talk to is that, 
you know, they see people that are that are succeeding at a high level. They don't chunk it down to the, to the core uh, process or, or or the core steps that that agent's doing, so they can fairly compare themselves to that other agent. This is what I mean. If that agent's working brand new leads and he's paying 40, 50 bucks a piece for, and you're working free leads, you're not going to have the same results. So stop beating yourself up. You're never going to achieve the same results when you're working, you know, garbage leads for free or 50 cent leads. The only reason why you, you and I are willing to pay more for leads is the quality of lead changes, right? Which means that we're going to get better results in less time. Boy, that's powerful. Better results in less time. That's exactly what it is. It just means if you're going to work older leads, if you have a restricted budget coming in, that's fine. Uh, it just means you're going to be working in your business rather than on your business longer. You're going to spend more time on the phone to achieve the same number of appointments that you need each week to hit the number of sales that you need to generate the income that you need. You heard me say before, it's a metrics-based system. Look, dialing is where the work is in this business. This entire business begins and ends on the phone. If you don't like the phone, you've got to fall in love with the phone or, or you're not going to make it because it, this business is all about getting some leads, making some dials, going out and making a presentation either virtual or in-home. And again, I can't talk enough about our virtual team that we have. We have perfected the virtual sale. Not telesales, virtual sales. In our leaderboard right now for our team, seven out of 10 of our top producers are coming from that virtual team. So virtual sales has gone viral. I'm a relationship person, I'm a face-to-face -face person, so that's where I feel myself more, most comfortable. But I'm learning, again, to do all phases. It's like products. You know, as a, as a broker, you wanna have as many products as you can. More products means you can help more people, right? Well. I want to be able to do virtual sales because there's certain people that will not meet with you. COVID or not COVID, there are certain people that, that will not meet with you that you can take to a virtual sale and add 10, 15 more sales a month to your, to your, uh, to your business, right? Again, begins and ends with the phone. You know, going to the home whether or, or doing the virtual sales is the fun part of the business. That's not work. The work is the phone, right? Any given day, any of us, that's watching this video, even if you haven't even started yet, I can teach you and train you. You can plug into our training. We teach you every step of the way. We're on the phone, working with you on that phone script. Because if you can't book appointments, you're not going to make it. I don't care how much product knowledge that you have. you got to be good at converting leads into sales. So, But any given day, any of us can make 50 dials, reach seven contacts, and book two appointments. That's the work part of the business, and it's not something you're, anybody's born with. It's a skill that you can learn, right? This business is all about consistency in that area, which is making dials, making that time to, to set. I've got, you know, our agents right now are on Zoom. There's probably 30 or 40 of them in there right now. They're booking appointments for virtual and face-to-face -face for their upcoming week. So it's a virtual workroom. We come together because that's, that's the time that we work to set our week up for success. And whether or not you want to earn 500, 1,000, 5,000 a week or a month, it doesn't matter. You can. Success in this business is all about consistency. It's about keeping a schedule, having some structure, which is tough as entrepreneurs because we got in this business to be independent. And sometimes you know, your greatest strength lies right next to your greatest weaknesses. So the fact that you're the boss of your business sometimes is not a good thing because you don't force yourself into a structure you know, into a schedule that you keep religiously. Things come in the way like kids and marriages and ball games and all that. You know, we have the option of, of saying no to things. And sometimes what we yet be very careful what we say no to. It's a white space on your calendar that's going to cause you to fail in this business. Figure out 90 days out what's your time of your wife, time of your kids, conferences you have to attend, conference calls you have to attend. You know, pencil them out on your calendar, go 90 days out and then figure out where you can block time to work your business and keep that time. You know, we can't be working all the time, right? If you have a family, if you're married, there's, there's obligations there and you should do those things, but make sure you schedule them out just like you schedule your business out and, and that way you'll show up for your business, right? Our greatest weakness lie in this business lies in giving up. You know, I see it all the time. You know, I see people jumping from IMO to IMO to IMO and they're carrying the same things with them, that which is giving up. 
stick and stay and you'll get the pay. It's an old cliche, but it makes a difference, right? The white space on your calendar, as I said, I'm gonna repeat it again so you, in case you didn't hear it, is, you know, I look at my calendar, I look, I look at our agent's calendars, you know, when they're willing to share them with me and, and uh, uh, we have a book here that we keep our schedule on, that's right? Number of dials, number of contacts, we track our business. Those things are what I would recommend you do. So again, the only thing that will beat you in this business is the white space in your calendar. It's not the leads, it's not the product, it's certainly not the opportunity, it's not the pandemic, it's not your car breaking down, it's you not scheduling and treating this like a business. Treat like a business, you get paid like a business. Treat like a hobby, you will get paid like a hobby and most likely you'll phase out over time. I, I don't wanna keep harping on this thing, but virtual sales because of the pandemic really uh, became a necessity for a while there, and now it's really grown into something quite different. We, you know, again, we've perfected that model. We've got a team that, uh, of uh, people that meet Monday through Thursday. Uh, they meet in the morning, they book their appointments, they come back in the afternoon they, and they run their appointments. These guys are knocking out of the park. Here's a good example here. At the end of the day, three appointments set, right? They met with two, so it means one didn't show up. They wrote four ads for $3,000 in premium. That's one day. Here's another one here, 38 contacts, 13 appointments set for the day, set was seven. I mean, this means about half of them didn't show up. They wrote five apps for $9,377.76 in premium. So those are amazing numbers where you can do something that's not geographic, here's another one, seven contacts, one appointment, one app written for 16, 48, 56. Here's another one, 21 appointments set, Five uh, they actually set with, wrote three apps for two thousand four hundred forty-five dollars and twenty-four cents. Folks, that's that's the that's for a day. And it's amazing, and the power of virtual is you you remove the geographic barrier around your business because you can buy leads anywhere. Anyway, that's uh, that's it for the day. Uh, again, this business is all about consistency, and the number of appointments set equals the number of APV written. Period. It's all about activity. It's not about skill or talent. You can learn that over over time. If you put the activity in, look, more activity, massive amounts of activity will make up for a lousy presentation or any hiccups that you might have in the early phases of learning this business. I hope that helps. Look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.